The Japanese thought of them as lucky. They were prophets to the Greeks. Even early Christians saw them as symbols of Christ. God of creativity to some African tribes, cannibalistic tribes worship them too. The praying mantis is now labeled as a bizarre monster because like spiders, this predatory animal is extremely cannibalistic and the female is known to eat the male during mating, occasionally only his head. Of the three mantis species in Ohio, the Carolina mantis is the smallest, the Chinese mantis is the largest and most common, ranging from four to six inches, and the European mantis not shown is in between. When angry, bright colors are displayed between the front legs to give a warning before an attack. To successfully mate mantises in captivity, the female must be well fed to discourage eating her mate. The male is placed behind the female and encouraged to approach her. This can take several hours at the most. When he feels confident, he leaps upon her back, grabbing her waist. Even the mating doesn't always go according to plan. The male's smaller size comes in handy as he ducks behind her hips to prevent her from reaching around and grabbing him. They will stay together for four more hours. During this time, the female must continue to eat to keep her energy. Cannibalism during mating is common in captivity because of the lack of food provided at this time. When finished, the male detaches and must be removed. In the wild, he would quickly fly away. The praying mantid's life cycle only lasts one summer, hatching in May and dying in the fall. The female will never see her eggs hatch. In captivity, egg sacs are incubated until next spring. 50 to 200 mantids will hatch from one egg sac. 